The U.S. Department of Labor has agreed not to make workers repay benefits they received by mistake during the pandemic as long as they were not obtained by fraud. However, the EDD still must verify that everyone was eligible. About a million Californians, maybe you or someone you know, are required to submit extra proof or pay back their benefits, and many say the EDD is not making that easy. Seven on your side's Michael Finney has a young woman's story of frustration, Michael. One million people are having to get involved That's in amazing. this. I mean, that is a ton. And what we're talking about is non-traditional employees, gig workers, contractors, part-timers. They received a special pandemic benefit. Now they must show they really were working and weren't imposters filing phony claims. But get this, many say the EDD is once again putting up barriers. So I do have evidence, I just cannot get it to them. Colette Bowen of Morgan Hill has been trying for weeks to show the EDD this proof. She really was working at a Kendra Scott jewelry store when the pandemic hit. And then everything shut down and then they let us all go. Colette was a college student working part time at the mall when stores shut and she got laid off. The EDD granted her pandemic unemployment benefits, but now nearly two years later, she must prove she deserved them. I don't know why I need to prove anything. When I applied, I got accepted for a reason. They have to read through your case. She's among the nearly one million workers who received this alarming email from the EDD before the holidays. All must show they were really working before the pandemic hit or returned the money. Colette found the email just recently in her junk folder. It coming to my junk folder, I thought it was just kind of a scammer. It said she must upload proof to her her EDD account or pay back her benefits. That's about $6,000. That is definitely a, a big amount. I mean, I'm a young person. I work an hourly wage job. So she dug up her W-2 and earning summary, but when she tried to upload them, she could not. I get the error code every time. Turns out the EDD locked her out of her account with no way to upload and a deadline this Friday to submit her proof. It's not like we just decided to ignore their requests. I just sincerely cannot get into my account. Thank you for calling the Employment Development Department. She's tried calling the EDD many times. We are currently receiving more calls than we can answer and are unable to assist you at this time. So, yeah. No one picks up. So she mailed paper copies to the EDD no response. She contacted Seven on your side, and we asked the EDD how she's supposed to comply if they locked her out of her account. The EDD said it will be offering a way to mail in documents for those with technical problems, but would not say why she was locked out. I'm not in a position where I could pay back that sort of money, and I know that I'm not at fault and I shouldn't have to. So, yes, it is very frustrating. The EDD says many folks may have been overpaid by mistake as rules kept changing throughout the pandemic. I've reported a great deal on that. The Labor Department said today it will forgive many of those payments. Good news. However, folks like Colette must still show they were really eligible all of the time. Now, right. they knew that at the beginning. Most of these people are sure. because we're not ripoffs. You're going by the rules. Right, right. Still, that you know, we've got to fix the problem. Yeah. I mean, you've done so many stories. Thank you, Michael. Sure.